Good afternoon, morning, evening, or night, ladies and gentlemen. My name is Alex, and this episode's subject comes in from Bobby to Bend. Do you think the Wii U sucks like many other people do? Suck sucks is a really strong word, isn't it? I think for something to suck, you have to really, really have a distaste for it, don't you? And I think the Wii U's in a weird position, isn't it? It's, so, it's sort of stuck in between the whole next-gen thing and the previous-gen thing, because it came out that weird... It was 2012, wasn't it? it Maybe the end of 2011, I can't remember. It was that weird time where they started re-releasing, like, Arkham City Armored Edition and, and Mass Effect 3 on it and stuff like that. It was it was weird. And as far as the console concern is concerned, the Wii U is unique in that people buy the Wii U to play Nintendo games. You don't only buy a PS4 to play Sony games, because you'd, be, you'd have nothing to play. You don't only buy an Xbox to only play Microsoft games. Because, again, you'd have shit all to play for the entire year, apart from, like, one or two releases each time. But with Nintendo, people people are passionate about it, and they're in a u- unique place there because people are so, so infatuated with the series, and they will they will stick with them and support them through anything. Am I one of those people? Hell no. Nintendo, for me, they're very much trapped in a certain state in my mind. I, I, I had a Game Boy, I played the fuck out of Pokemon Red... Pokemon Fire Red, that is. I just, I, 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 I burnt myself out on Pokemon with that when I played it so much. And then, I, then I got a Wii. Played Mario Kart to death. Played S- Smash Bros. Brawl to death. Played Mario Galaxy One and Two to death. New Super Mario Bros. Wii. Just all these games. And so far, just the Wii U just isn't very appealing to me. Mainly because I mentioned in one of my other videos that it wouldn't make sense. Uh, the only reason I'd get it is is for for content creation, for YouTube videos and stuff like that. More so for just playing the games, because I, I don't really play um, arcade things like that. I, I'm looking for something a bit different now in the, in the way I play my games, but there was a time where I was super, super hyped for Smash Bros. And that's not anything against the game at all. It's it's a great game. I've, I've played it. My friend has. He bought his, bought his Wii U round and everything, and he played it, and it's fine and everything, but it's like, I can't help but feel like, this is great, it all works and everything, and it looks nice, and it feels good, and I just can't help but feel like I I don't need to go out and buy one of these. I don't need it. Nothing on here is really screaming at me, this is something you need to pick up this console for, because uh, I've, I've played Smash Bros. Brawl so much, and the Wii one looks good and everything, but it, it's very much, it's more Smash Bros. And the new the new Mario games and everything, they're fun, and they, and they do innovate with the new ones, but... Nothing about them screams to me like Mario Galaxy did. Like, this is something you really need to play. And quite frankly, they just don't release enough games for it to be worth it for me. I don't want to have this console that I, that just sits in the corner until a Nintendo game comes out. And you might say, oh, there's, there's a new Nintendo game, like, all the time. There's Bayonetta 2, there's... You've got a big backlog now of Pikmin and everything. But I don't really care about a lot of their games. If I got a Wii U, I would buy Smash Bros, and it would kind of be a Smash Bros box. As far as just the Wii U suck, I think sucks is a strong word, because you get it for Nintendo games. You get it, and I'm sure everyone who has a Wii U doesn't regret it, because they have all those Nintendo games. And that's the thing they're after, that's the thing they seek. But personally, for me, if I was going to get anything Nintendo, I'd get a DS, a 3DS. The games on there look far more interesting to me. I don't know, like the, the Zelda game on there, you got Bravely Default, all these things that... That's the kind of experience I'm after from Nintendo. These deep RPGs and these, like, innovative platformers and Zelda games and whatnot. See, I was a really weird Nintendo fan because I, I had no... I had no attachment to anything like Zelda or Mario before, particularly. I, I recognised them, I knew how how people enjoyed them and everything, but I didn't have this crazy attachment to them, so I never really cared about the Wii U. And I still don't, because I don't see a reason. Nintendo aren't giving me a reason to buy it. Like, all the people I know who've bought Wii U's, they say it's like good and everything for the for Smash Bros and Mario Kart and all that, but I, I, don't, I don't care. I'm sorry, I don't care. I get why people do. I really do. But personally, especially because of the way they they treat the whole YouTube thing, like, I'm just not interested. Like, the Nintendo part of my life is pretty much over. So what do you guys think? Are uh, Wii U owners out there, is it... What do you think about it? Is it a good experience for you? Are you happy that you only really play the Nintendo release games on there? Would you argue that it would be worth me getting? Tell me in the comments below. And as always, thanks for watching. All comments and ratings are very much appreciated. And make sure you leave suggestions for future job labs. I'll see you next time. Bye. Do you think that good single-player games are in early stages of extinction? If so, why? 
So my thoughts immediately there are, ooh, that's a good point, but I don't think so. I, I think they are waning just a little bit, but th just think about it. GTA 5, arguably is mainly a single player game, just sold, what, over $2 billion worth of copies? And it does have the online component to it, but 